What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. Once again, I'm your host, Siren Frost, and in today's video, this is going to be a deck profile update of a T Dragon Empire deck, Tajikazi. Um, I think the clan selection collection very much well, because now I have more support to actually make a decent deck out of this junk that I have. I, I, well, I wouldn't call it junk, I'd just be like, stuff that I've never really able to get as much, but this is the best build I can actually make at the moment. Just because... Just because I don't honestly know what else to make in Tachikaze. Because, um... With V-Series pretty much almost over and done with, and we're almost on the verge of D-Series, I think it's just best to do the deck that I have right now. And... You know, I, I don't often play Tachikaze. If anything, I try it out just because I like dinosaurs. And to me, this is like an honor to Jason from Power Rangers, who was the owner of a Tyrannosaurus Rex uh, dinosaur. So, I guess you can say that's a little fair right there. Um, so, anyways, without any further ado, let's just get on right to the deck profile and... This is going to be a, probably a lot more different than some people's, but this is my own build for the moment until I find better cards and better ideas to find out more about it. So, with that, even, with that being said, let's just jump right into it. So, my starter is going to be Minimum, um, minimum Carno. Um, it's just a good starter, standardized starter. Gives you a quick shield one minute, the minute that your opponent has a grade 1. Vanguard, I'm talking about your ride, draw a card, all that jest. And the trigger lineup for me is going to be a rainbow variant because I don't have that many front triggers, critical triggers, or other draws and heals at the moment because, well, we don't have those right now. But it happens. So for my heals, I'm playing four heals, four draws, four criticals, and four fronts. So I have for heals, Younger's Parasound. And I have four draw PG, which is Archbird, which is I know it was hard for me to really find sometimes. Uh four Savage Aggressor. And four uh Pack Dragon Tiny Rex for my front triggers. So this is the content this is how it's going to be done, and on Saturday, I'm going to be debuting this deck at my shop, just to see if, um, if it'll accept, if it'll show its worth. But if not, you know, at least it was a fun match to play in. You know, test out with new players the best you can know how. Oh, shit. Spooky. Sorry guys, I'm also watching uh, Spooky Horror Stories as well um, on my computer, and they're talking about ghost stories. Anyways, I'll get back on. I'll get back on track. For grade ones, twelve grade ones, which is going to be four Savage Shooters, which is the new uh, grade one Tachikaze unit for the Clan Selection Pack. And what I'm going to do is just going to read this card because I just don't know much about it either, and I'm not very good on memorizing all cards. <laughs> So her effect is Vanguard. When place Soul Blast one card, draw a card and call a card from your hand to rear guard. Okay. Put the top card of your deck face down as an equipped gauge for that unit called. So if I'm not mistaken, it's going to be um no I'm not even done reading it. So it's the deck's all about equip gauges. Just like Genesis has their divine gauges. This is gonna be just a gauge. Um Active skill rear guard, rest this unit, and put a card from, from your drop zone face down as an equip gauge for one of your rear guards without any equip gauges. Not bad. So, if she provides you a, an equip gauge, not only draw a card, rest her, and then you can call or put a card from your drop zone or your deck face down as an equip gauge. Awesome. Next, um, four copies of Savage Trooper. So I got four of him. And then this unit gets 5,000 power for each 
of this unit's equip gauges. So, the more equip gauge you have on him, the more he gets an in increased power. Okay, good work. And finally, we're playing four copies of Prism Bird. Just your grade three searcher and, you know, getting a grade three. And if a new equip gauge was put from your for your unit this turn, this unit gets plus 5k power. Which, again, also relies on equip, equip gauges. It's like you're equipping like a spell card here and there, I guess. Okay, moving on to grade 2. Four copies of Ravenous Dragon Mega Rex. Four of him. And then I'm not familiar with him, so I'm going to go ahead and read him. Vanguard Rearguard. When attacks a Vanguard, retire another Rearguard. Engorge. And draw a card. If this unit is on rear guard, Carablast 1, put the top card of your deck face down as an equip gauge for this unit. And if and it gets 5k power in the end of that battle for each of these units equip gauge. So it gets only a 5k power extra boost. Well, at least it has it retained some of its engorge abilities. Next, I'm playing four copies of Zealous Horn Dragon Dino Dino Phil. Dilopho Pyro. Ugh, imagine spilling that back, saying that fast too many times. Okay, so his skill is when placed from hand, counter blast one, draw a card and call a card from your hand, and in return, you put the top card in your deck face down as an equip gauge for that unit. So you can summon him, he gets an equip gauge, and on top of that, he gets another equip gauge as well. So, there you go. <laughs> if that's the best I can probably say right now. I can do the best I can. Next, for the last one, we're playing three copies of Clear Out Dragon Sweet Para Crocanto. Uh, this guy right here. This bitch right here. And because I'm not familiar with him, he's just brand new. Uh, rear Guard, one turn. When it attacks a Vanguard, put the top card of your deck face down as equip gauge for this unit. This unit gets plus 5k power for each unit's equip gauge, and if it has three or more equip gauges, it cannot be... Chosen by your opponent's card's abilities. So, the more equip gauge this guy has, the more chance it has to get a, a, a high chance of getting an immunity from your opponent's card effects. So, everything is right now based on equip gauges, which I don't mind trying out this Saturday if I do just so happen to get it the day off because <laughs> last Saturday I was pissed. No lie, I was pissed. No day off for me. Finally, for grade threes, we're playing four copies of Light Battle Dragon Giga Giga No Gigano No Blazel. Uh, Blazer or something like that. I almost said like French. Fuck my life. Uh, since he's a new unit, I'm gonna Okay, well first of all, he is my new ace monster, and the rest are just gonna be follow ups and like backups, I guess you say. But I'm gonna read him for a quick second because I just but I got him. So Vanguard, during your turn, if three or more e new equip gauges were put were put into your units for your units this turn, all your front row units get plus five k power. Okay, Vanguard one turn active, Counter Blast one, Soul Blast one. Draw two cards and call two cards from your hand to Rearguard. Put the top, put up to one card from the top of your deck, face down as an equip gauge for each of those units. Put without looking at the front of those cards. Which, that's going to suck because that's going to be a risk as well. Because you also need triggers too to pass some sort of judgment. I'm sorry guys, like if this is going to be like a bad video to some of you, it's just I don't have much info on Tachikaze. But because I am owing this as a tribute to the Red Power Ranger from My Morphin, and also because I used to like dinosaurs to myself. That's kind of partially why I'm doing this. Okay. Next one, we're playing three copies of Sondering Dragon Terror Therizino. Therizino. Or something like that. Some sort of Spanish name or some kind of name like that. So its skill is when it when it attacks a vanguard, retire one other rear guard in Gorge. Draw a card, and if you retired a unit with a quick gauge. For this cause, choose up to one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it. So, 
if you just so happen to, to retire a unit that has a, an equip gauge, then you can choose one of your opponent's rear guards and force off the field. So it'll give you a chance to eat and then kill. So you eat and kill, pretty much. Like a typical savage. Next, I'm playing two copies of Emperor Dragon Gaia Emperor. Um, right now, I currently own two at the moment. I was lucky enough to even get, well, two. <laughs> Simple enough. Um, to me, he's a finisher or a starter, depending on what you prefer to be an encounter with. During your turn, if all your rear guards with equip gauge, all of your rear guards with equip gauges get plus 5k power. If your opponent's vanguard is grade 3 or greater, they get 10,000 instead of 5,000. Vanguard ability only. When it attacks, can last one and retire a rear guard and gorge. And this unit gets the original power of, the, of that unit retired from this cost until the end of that battle. If your opponent's vanguard is grade 3 or greater, it gets the original critical as well. So does that mean does that mean it gains the extra critical? I don't know. Like that makes you like a two like a two quick killer. I don't know. That's just an um, honest question for me to ask you guys. Like I can understand if he get, if he gains the power of the unit that was retired, but does he also gain the extra critical as well? Just a a food for thought or just some a question. So, anyways, our last unit we have here is ravenous dragon. Gigarax, the big brother of Megarax. Um, I know you're all like kind of making this big giant question mark, saying like four, three, two, one. What the fuck's going on here? Um, at the moment, this is the best I can do because most of the units I have are also true ancient dragons. But what Gigarax actually does is Vanguard and Vanguard only. When it attacks, put up to one card from the top of your deck. Face down as an equipped gauge for each of your rear guards. This unit gets plus 5k power for each of those rear guards. Of that battle for each of your rear guards. Vanguard, discard 5 equipped gauges. 3 of your front row rear guards get plus 5k power at the end of the turn. And if your opponent's damage zone is 4 or less, deal 1 damage to your opponent's vanguard. So, and I guess in some ways, he's either your finisher or these two can be. But he's just a setup, and these are just backups, you know, in other words. Uh, it's really hard to just... I'll be honest with you guys, this is really complicated because I have never really had enough time preparing, you know, and fully test this deck out to see what I'm trying to say here. But all I know is that the deck revolves around equip gauges. Without them, none of them have their proper abilities. But all I know is that Giga Rex right here is your finisher, if it comes to that point. Emperor Dragon, this one, pick your poison. And I know you're all thinking like there's one, two, three, four. I know. I'm going to try to find some more copies of, of those other units. And I'll give you guys the proper deck. Or at least how my deck actually looks. But that is the main for, uh, 50 card deck right here. Now for the imaginary gifts. Um, I'm going to go with XL2 for this one, just because it requires a lot of power and draw power. And if you're going to be putting a lot of equip gauges, equip gauges on your units, you're going to need some extra cards to back it all up, too. And, of course, we have... Oh, shit. Pfft. Tired, guys. Tired. One quick shield. But, anyways, you guys, that is the conclusion deck profile update of Tachikaze with a new um, head honcho. Um for this version of the deck. I rarely do Tachikaze because I'm not a big fan, big fan of Dragon Emperor and as a whole, but I'm taking the balls right now to just try something new and different. And right now, I all I can see is this boss right here is the new ace for the deck. And right now, that's the best I can do. So, Ganeno Blazer is going to be the new ace for this deck, or the least top one. So anyways, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down in the in the comments down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you or, you know, give my honest thoughts about this because I know this is a little bit tricky for me to do. But it was actually pretty fun to do a deck like this because, you know, it gives me time to really get to know a deck without judging it like I used to. And just get to know from the player's perspective of what's best and what's not best, you know, just get a bit of an idea 
and maybe a little asking for help kind of thing in the more polite manner. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, that concludes this deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it was a little bit of a buzzkill for some of you, but I was really struggling with this, but I'm trying to give you guys the best content I know how. And about my last video on Tsukuyomi, I apologize that the camera fell like on the mat because it, my thread on it is kind of bad. I'm just trying to be... I'm barely holding it right now with my stand. So, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good Monday, and I'll see you guys next Monday or Wednesday. I'll let you guys know ahead of time. So, I'll see you guys next video, and I hope you guys have a good day. Make good choices. And yeah, just live your life and have a moment. Drink some soda or something like that. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.